entering the badlands of northeast Kenya, the poorest border of Somalia just 90 miles away. It's a constant threat to Kenya's security. Kenyan special forces little to do now except look over the grim task of loading the dead. Just discharged from hospital, Helen Titus says she hid in a wardrobe when the shooting started, but the terrorists found her. I was telling you, shoot them, shoot them. And then after that, they gave us a lecture. She says the gunmen spoke Swahili and wore no shoes. They gave them a religious sermon. She says they shot them in the head one by one, 20 women and 20 men. She survived by smearing the blood of her friend over her face. So I just wept myself, swept myself with that blood. Helen was rescued after 10 hours, but most of her friends were not. Many of the students say that they fled with just the clothes on their back, escaping through a hail of gunfire and explosions. This was a thriving university with students from throughout Kenya. Now they're being scattered like refugees. There were bullets everywhere. Yes, there were bullets everywhere. And then students were struggling, running out. Evan Mutandura fled with his four-month-old son, Marura. He says the gunman asked students to recite the Quran. If they couldn't, they were killed. Those who were killed were Christians totally. The survivors still reliving the trauma. She lost her best friend. They've been removing bodies all day from this university. They say that there were dozens of bodies in just one building that they had to pull out. Now the Red Cross is coming to do the final batch, as they call it. No one else is allowed inside there, and they say when the final bodies are removed, this whole place will close down. David McKenzie, CNN, Garissa. When we reach our room, we hide, we hide under bed. And then when they were outside, they told us that if you if you if you if you have hide, hide yourself under bed, you you come out very fast. And then me, I decided to to go to the above the 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 wardrobe. We hide under bed. And then when they were outside. They told us that if you if you if you if you have hide, hide yourself under bed, you you come out very fast. And then me, I decided to to go to the above the 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 wardrobe. In the in the wardrobe we have the small room, small small rooms. And then I entered into that place. And then I covered myself with the with with the clothes. I drank the lotion, the body oil in that place. There was a lotion, then I drank all of them. Lotion? Yeah. What, what kind of lotion? Mm, lovely, lovely and nice and lovely. Because I was, I was feeling hungry and very thirsty.